How's it going guys? Way back in the day I showed you how to install Clone Hero and a lot has changed since that video so I'm just going to do an update video. This is a 2020 guide on how to play Clone Hero on PC. So let's just jump right into it. First thing we want to do is open up our web browser and head to this link here. It's clonehero.net. All of the links by the way will be in the description and just click this download button here to download all of the necessary files and in my case I had to double click it and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So the file has been downloaded, so let's go ahead and check it out. It's right here and it is a zipped file, which means we need either WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it. I'm using 7-zip, but you can use WinRAR if you like. They both do the same thing, which is just extract and we're going to extract it to the desktop. So after the extraction, you should see the zip file here and now the actual folder that we can get into. So let's open up that folder and here we can see there's a few different folders and files along with the clone hero executable. This is where we actually launch the program from. So we're looking pretty good right now, but what we need to do is create a folder to put the songs in. So let's right click, go to new folder and just type the following songs like that with a capital S. I'm not sure if the capital S matters or not, but I'm going to do that just to be safe. So now we have a place where we can store the songs. All we need to do is go grab some songs. So go to the description and you'll see this link right here, which is a Google document that contains all of the set lists for guitar or clone hero. And right here we see there's a guitar hero set list, which has all of the songs for guitar hero. Let's go ahead and pick the guitar hero two set list. So click the download button and that's going to send us to a Google drive. We're going to go ahead and click download, download again download anyway. Basically, it's just saying that the file's too big, so it can't be scanned for viruses, but all of these files are safe, so don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on my desktop as well. And we can see that the Guitar Hero 2 um, zip file is now downloading. Should be done momentarily. All right, so it finally finished downloading. So let's head back to our desktop and we're just going to double click that file that we just downloaded. And it's a zip file, so we'll need 7-zip or WinRAR. And we're just going to extract it again to the desktop and it's gonna move all of the Guitar Hero 2 songs over to the desktop here. All right, so that finished up. So now what we're gonna do is go back to the other file that we downloaded, double click that, and go to that songs folder that we created. And now we're just going to drag and drop the Guitar Hero 2 set list into that songs folder. So now when we launch Clone Hero, we'll be able to see those songs after we scan, and I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and launch Clone Hero. It's this application here. Double click that and Clone Hero should start up without any issue. And then grab a controller. Uh, in my case, I'm using the, oh no. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't anticipating music blasting like that. Once you're at the menu, go ahead and grab your Clone Hero or Guitar Hero controller. In my case, I'm using the White Explorer from Guitar Hero 2. Uh, you can also use the Guitar Hero 3 one if you have the uh, wireless adapter. And hit the select button and select guest. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to general and we're going to click scan songs. And it'll say this will take a while, are you sure? Just go ahead and click yes anyway because what this actually does is populate the library so you can actually see the songs and play them. So it's a very important step as you can imagine. So now after you've scanned the songs, you should be able to hit the red button, the back button go to quick play and then you can see all of the songs show up here like so. Uh, so it's that simple and you can sort of repeat this process for any specific song that you find or any specific set list and um, just make sure to scan songs if they're not showing up and then after that you should be good to go. So hopefully this video guys, or <laughs> hopefully this video helped you guys and if it did please leave a like, if it didn't leave a dislike let me know how I can improve in the next video and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.